Hi, Compass families. How are you guys doing? Um, I hope you're doing okay. I know that uh, we things have changed a little bit with how we're going to be doing this. So I'm going to be doing recorded sessions uh, for until we figure out better ways to go about it. And I'll be doing these little short recorded classes, yoga classes. And then in combination every week, I'm going to make another recording with uh, some of the things that we're doing with our gardening skills and with our ecology, our understanding of ecology and the environment. Uh, so look for those as well. Uh, when we do those, I'll probably give you a list of supplies. There's never going to be too many, and it'll be adaptable. But so look for both. I think the kiddos uh, could use a deeper understanding of both our yoga practice as a practice of like uh, mindfulness and calming the mind and getting self, getting yourself ready and dealing with stress and all of that kind of good stuff. And then being just physically wonderful for you. And then with the, uh, with the aspect of this, when we're going to look at the environment and how the world works and uh, how we can uh, garden and, and uh, produce uh, beautiful things and food and all that kind of stuff. It all works together for 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 me, and I hope so for you. So, and by the way, parents, you're more than welcome to practice with us. Um, it would be helpful sometimes if uh, you can watch the kids and make sure that they're they're uh, staying disciplined. I can't see them if it's a recording. Mostly, I want to have fun. And today's class, we're going to be learning something a little bit more, di a little different, okay? We're going to be learning sun salutations, Surya Namaskar, and we're going to go through four different types of sun salutations. And these are the ones that uh, most people know that practice yoga for a while and all that kind of stuff. Um, and these sun salutations, they ha each have a history. And we'll talk a little bit about the history of it. And, but we'll start to learn how to do it. For my kids, this is, this is what we want to learn how to do. So once you learn this, maybe you can teach other people. Maybe you can show other people what you can do um, and uh, really enjoy it. So at first, let's just start in a seat. So come to a seated position. Let's, if we have or if we're in the middle of lunch, let's put lunch away for the next half hour or so. Um, you sh should probably not be eating or drinking, really, uh, during our practice. If you need a glass of water, if you need to drink, that's fine. But Let's put the food away, and let's put all of our distractions away. So turn off the TV. If there's phones in the room, put the phone away. Um, and just let's sit calmly. So you notice I'm seated cross-legged, crisscross applesauce. But you can find a seat that you like. And close the eyes. And then roll the shoulders up towards the ears. And then exhale, roll them back and down. Elbows come in towards the ribs and the palms are towards, the towards your knees. Good. Take some breaths here. And we're going to talk about breath. So inhale deeply in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. Make yourself sound like a dragon. Inhale deeply in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. One more time. Inhale. Go. 
Good. Seal the lips. Inhaling in through the nose. Exhaling out of the nose. Inhale in through the nose. Exhale completely out of the nose. Pull that breath really deep in through the nose. Make a slight sound like you're a wave crashing on the beach. And then as you exhale, make that slight sound as if you were that wave pulling back into the ocean. Again, inhale. Exhaling. Seal your lips. Inhale deeply in through the nose. And then exhale out of the nose. That's our basic meditation breath. When you're ready, inhale, arms reach out and up, reaching towards the sky. Come to hands and knees pose. Stack the knees just uh, below the hips, and then the wrist just below the shoulders. Fingers spread out wide. Your back is flat, maybe you wag your tail from side to side. So you're going side to side. And then when you're ready, palms are flat on the ground, fingertips out wide, hips are flat, back is flat, hold here, tuck the toes. When you're ready, inhale, chin comes up, hips come up, belly sags. So feel how, look how my tummy is making a nice round shape. Take a breath. And I look like a cow. Exhale. Push into the palms. Bend the back. Your chin comes to your chest. Your hips come to your chin. Push into those palms really hard. You're back is like a cat. Cat pose. Inhale. Come up to cow. Exhaling cat. Inhaling cow. Make that noise like a cow. Remember what a cow sounds like? It goes moo. So you say moo. And then we reverse that to cat pose, making the sound of a cat. Meow. Inhale, cow pose. Moo. 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 Come on, you guys, do it. Exhaling cat. Meow. Three more on your own. Tuck the toes. Hips come up and back, downward facing dog. So you push into the palms, straighten the knees, heels melt down towards the ground. Pushing so much into the palms, the chest comes between the shoulders. 
three breaths, two breaths, look forward, bend the knees, step forward between the hands. Your fingers to the ground, your knees are bent, half lifting, your back is flat, hands to the shins. Exhale and fold. Arms out and up, reaching up, up towards the sky. Hands come to the heart center. And then open your eyes. And then look at me. So we're going to do sun salutations, everybody. And these are interesting because they're super, super old. And... They will definitely help us in our future yoga practice. So each one of these postures we're going to go through slowly at first. And then we're going to do them a little quicker. Bring your hands to your heart. Palms are together. Thumbs to the heart. Top of the head towards the sky. Chin is in towards the chest. Arms reach out and up. Inhale. Reaching up towards the sky, sweeping your arms up, swan dive down, arms way out as you fold, hinge at the hips. Bend your knees a lot. Fingertips come to the ground, behind the toes. Inhale, half lift, hands to the shins. Exhale and fold. Come back up, arms reach out and up, inhale. Palms come together. Hands come to the heart. Let's do that twice more. Out and up with the arms. Swan dive down. Forward fold. Hinge at the hips. Half lift. Inhale. Exhale and fold. Out and up with the arms. Reach up towards the sky. Hands come to the heart. One more time. Do it on your own. Arms reach out and up. Close your eyes. Swan dive down. Forward fold. Half lift. Inhale. Exhale and fold. Knees are coming towards straight. Arms out and up. Inhale. Reach up towards the sky. Palms come together. Hands come to the heart. Exhale. Good. Surya Namaskar A. Sun Salutation A. We're going to do it really slow. We're going to do these postures. Most of you know what they are. But take your time. And follow me. We're just learning how to do these things better and better. Okay. So my feet are together. My knees are together. Rolling the shoulders up towards the ears. Exhale, rolling them back and down. Opening your chest up towards me so your hands look like this. You can open your eyes. Your body looks like this. Okay? So see how my shoulders are straight and flat? And my palms are facing you. And my knees and my feet are together. And that helps me lift up all this strength from the earth. Arms reach out and up. Inhale. Swan dive down, forward fold. Bend your knees enough to get to the ground. Half lift, inhale. Plant the palms, step the feet back, plank pose. So hold your plank pose. Push into the palms of the hands. Make a mound out of the top of the back. Look forward slightly. Suck the belly in. Straight line of energy from the heel through the top of the head. You can always drop to the knee and hold here. Wherever you're at, slowly lower down to the tummy. And untuck the toes so your feet are on the ground, right? feet into the ground 
and lift up Cobra Pose. And you can add a snake sound by going Then we come to our hands and knees. And then tuck the toes and your hips come up into the sky, downward facing dog. So I push into my hands, my chest comes between my shoulders, my heels melt down towards the ground, and I'm looking at the knees right now. And I'm also doing something going, we're in down dog, we're gonna go, Woof, woof. Two more breaths. Bend your knees a lot. Inhale, look forward. Step forward between the hands. Forward fold. Half lift. Exhale and fold. Arms reach out and up, inhaling. Palms come together. Look at the thumbs. Hands to your heart, exhale. Let's add to that. Arms reach out and up, inhale. Swan dive down, forward fold. Half lift, inhale. Plant the palms, hop back, plank pose, lower halfway down, untuck the toes, chest reaches forward, up dog pose, woof, 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 downward facing dog, exhale, woof, woof, holding here for three breaths. When you're ready, bend your knees a lot. Look forward, inhale. Let's make like a frog and hop a little bit forward. Go ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Forward, half lift, inhale. Exhale and fold. Arms out and up, reaching up towards the sky. Palms come together. Hands to the heart, exhale. Now let's close our eyes and let's try that all together. Arms reach out and up, inhale. Swan dive down, forward fold. Hands come to the ground behind, behind the toes. Half lift, inhale, chest reaches up, I'm watching you. Exhaling, plant the hands, step or hop back to plank pose. Lower halfway or all the way down. Untuck the toes, chest reaches forward, slide forward. And then downward facing dog, exhale. Melt those heels to the ground. Look at the knees or at the belly button. Take three more breaths. Two breaths. And one. Bend the knees a lot. Come up to your toes. Look forward. Step or hop forward. Feet between the hands. Forward fold. Inhaling. Half lifting. Hands to the shins. Exhale and fold. Arms are going to reach out and up, sweeping them up towards the sky. Palms come together. Hands come to the heart. Exhale. Good. So that was a series of poses called Surya Namaskar A, Sun Salutation A. So oftentimes we use that to get ourselves warmed up before a yoga class. Or sometimes it's really awesome to do that when you first wake up. You just wake up, walk out of your bedroom, do a couple sun salutations, 
and then your day is going to be better and better. All right, you guys ready for throw your mouth scarf? Mm -hmm. Sun salutation key. Hands come to the heart. Sit back to chair pose. Squeeze the knees in. So watch me. Feet are together. Knees are squeezing in. So I'm sitting back. Can you wiggle your toes at me? Sit back a little bit deeper. All right. Forward fold, exhale. Half lift, inhaling. Plant the palms, step back, plank pose. And always, you can always lower to the knees. Then you lower down to the belly. Then you untuck the toes, chest reaches to cobra pose. Or up dog, push into the tops of the feet. So cobras go, up dogs go, woo, woo. Downward dog, definitely woo, woo. Pedal it out. Heels belt down towards the ground. Right foot rises up. Step that right foot between the hands. Pivot the left toes. Arms reach out and up. So warrior two. So notice that my front knee is bent. My back foot is, my back leg is straight. My back foot is at a 45 degree angle. So the whole foot's on the ground. My left hip pulls forward, then my arms reach up. Take three breaths. Two. Frame the front foot. Step back to plank pose. Lower halfway or all the way down. Chest reaches forward. Up dog or cobra, downward facing dog, exhale. For three breaths. Left foot rises up, inhale. Knee to the chest, step forward between the hands. Pivot the back toes, arms reach out and up, warrior one. So notice that there's a space between my two legs. My back leg is way back. My front knee is bent. My arms are reaching out and up. And I'm looking up towards the ceiling. Two more breaths. One more breath. Frame the front foot. Step back to plank pose. Lower halfway or all the way down. Untuck the toes, chest reaches forward, cobra pose. Downward facing dog, exhale. And stay there. Your downward facing dog, you hold. And you hold that for five breaths. Stay in down dog. You can go woof woof if you want. Remember to breathe. One more breath. Look forward between the hands. Bend your knees. Come up to the toes. Step or hop forward. Forward fold. Half lift. Inhale. Hands to the shins. Exhale and fold. Chair pose. Inhale. Hands to the heart. Come to stand. So let's try that 
breath to movement, okay? So when you're ready, hands to the heart. Chair pose, inhale. Forward fold. Half lift, inhale. Plant the hands, step or hop back. Lower halfway or all the way. Chest reaches forward, up dog or cobra. Downward facing dog, exhale. No break, right foot steps between the hands. Pivot the back toes, arms reach out and up, inhale. Warrior one, frame the front foot. Step back, plank pose. Lower halfway or all the way down. Chest reaches forward, up dog or cobra. Downward facing dog. Left foot steps forward between the hands. Right toes pivot, arms reach out and up. Inhale. Frame the front foot. Step back. Lower halfway or all the way down. Chest forward, up dog or cobra. Downward facing dog. Exhale. And stay in down dog for five breaths. Four breaths. Three. And one. Bend your knees a lot, come up to the toes, look forward. Step hopping or floating. Forward fold. Half lift. Exhale and fold. Chair pose. Inhale. Hands to the heart. And come to rise. Exhale. All right. So let's come to a seat, everybody. So your legs are crossed, your spine is straight and aligned. Top of the head comes towards the sky. Bring your chin in. Hands to the heart. So what we learned today was Surya Namaskar, sun salutations which is the base of any yoga asana class. Asana means like postures or the way you hold your body. So anytime we're in a posture, we're in an asana. And sun salutations, Surya Namaskars, help us to get warm and ready for every day, all of our practices. That's why way back in time, people used to do it at the very beginning of the mornings to get ready for the day, to get exercise, to calm themselves and calm their minds. So we'll begin with those a lot of times with our yoga practice. Keep practicing it during the week. Show your parents, show your parents' parents, show your friends. And we'll get deeper and more meaningful into our postures. I want to thank you so much for allowing me to lead you in your practice today. As we end all of our classes, if you bring your hands to your forehead, please say, may your thoughts be true. Bring your hands to the lips. Please say, may your words be kind. Bring your hands to your heart and say, may your heart be free. And in yoga, we say namaste. If you prefer, say thank you. As you bring your hands to your forehead, bow at the hips, and say namaste or thank you. Namaste. Namaste.